So it's 60 days left in my 90 day challenge. Less than 100 followers away from 6,000 followers on YouTube. Just broke 1,100 and something on the second page. Got 17,000 strong on TikTok. Two different TikTok accounts. Don't have 1,000 yet on Twitch. What I've learned is I don't ask y'all to follow me. For the people that do come through and do want to watch my videos, I don't ask y'all to, you feel me, truly come through. I don't ask y'all to truly come and watch my videos. I don't ask y'all to follow me. I don't ask y'all to stay tuned. I don't say link in the bio. I don't say none of that. You feel me? In my mind at one point, I thought if you fuck with me, then I shouldn't have to ask anybody to follow me. But that's not the case. It's everything that I'm learning. And with time on the crunch, those last 10 days are going to be the most crucial for me. It's going to be very interesting for me. Because I know what I want. I know what I need. I know what needs to get done. I know where I'm aiming for. Yet, it feels as though what I've learned so far isn't really being put to use. The videos that I want to make and the videos that I'm producing are nowhere near where I need to be at. And that's going to be okay for now because I'm more, I, this is the most work I've put in on gaming videos in my life and it's paying dividends. I want to give that same love to the main channel. I'm basically repurposing my short form videos, but nobody really is watching those videos at all. If anything, people are more scrolling away from the video than actually watching. And I believe obviously that it is me. But then again, I get those comments saying, keep up the good work. I'm getting those comments on my videos on, uh, saying that people are seeing me in their timeline and they're seeing the work and the ethic and they see the potential in me. And just one comment on my video actually changes my mindset so much more. It takes a lot for me to be driven. It takes a lot for me to be really motivated and really want to get a lot more work done. But what I've noticed and what I've seen over the last oh so many in terms of my videos, the things that I'm producing for y'all, the things I've done for y'all, what I have seen, what I've been doing, what I've been working on is definitely trying my absolute ass off to get to a place where if I make a video in the first hour, no matter what's going on, I get maybe 2,000 2, viewers, 10,000 viewers. You feel me? I don't want to be one of those content creators or be one of those people that's on the internet trying to promote you using sex sales, basically. I post XYZ with a girl, y'all click on this, clickbait. I clickbait the uh, title. I'm saying I get ahead in a car doing public interviews and all this type of stuff. I'm not really a public type of person. However, I don't have enough intrigue and interest within myself to want to keep a viewer at the moment. You feel me? I'm not really that funny. Y'all come through my video, y'all gonna skip through it all the way to the end. Not that interesting. You feel me? I'm doing everything. I'm doing the same things as many people are doing right now. However, the only other thing is I'm really just trying to be myself. It's been very interesting. And when I do get to 6,000, because that was the whole point of me doing this, when I do get to 6,000, I'm going to be hella focusing on my Twitch. I'm going to be hella focusing on streaming, but not really just streaming, creating the best type of video through the stream. That's what the gaming page is for. You feel me? I see Kai Sinak, and I'm not going to lie. I, I admire what, what basically my template is what he's done, what he's doing. Dude, Dennis and them, other content creators, I don't have what it takes to be another damn Jinxie. I don't have what it takes to be another damn sketch. You feel me? I refuse to ever do anything like Speed is doing right now, but it works. And I understand what's working. I should adapt and, and, and make my own. However, I'm not one of those people that is going to rage at the camera. I'm not one of those people that truly gets that mad to where I'm throwing and breaking stuff. I'm not one of those people that can afford to change my entire background to look like a rodeo. But however, like I said, I want to keep these videos brief. I want to keep everything going, in, in a sense. I want to make sure that every time you guys come through and you not only watch my videos, but you understand that I'm learning this all the way through. I'm not even using YouTube automation. I could be generated idea after idea, 50 ideas a day and speak on a topic, but I'm just speaking on what I've learned so far. Obviously, I'm going to still be doing my reactions to the NBA, but I don't do them like that because I don't want to be known really as a reaction channel. But you feel me? It is what it is at a certain point. I want to be able to indeed get on this camera, be able to tell my story, tell a story of some sort, and it just be that. It'd be my story. It'd be for y'all. It'd be for the viewers. It'd be just everything that we have going on together. I don't want this video to be too long. I, j I just really am getting a better sense of everything. My analytics don't lie. Across all my platforms, actually, my analytics don't lie. And I am thankful for the YouTube, the TikTok tools that are in place to not only help me find content, but see similar content, see people that watch the same type of videos that I make, et cetera, and so forth. And I can adopt, truly adopt these things that other people are doing right now, implement it, making my own, be myself, and also make a funny ass video for y'all. This is the main page. I'm going to get to 6,000. I'm going to ask y'all to follow me on every video. I'm going to ask for a low on every video from this point forth. I understand that. Now I'm going to keep grinding in order to get to 10,000. By the end of this year, I want to be at least close to or damn near have 10,000 followers on YouTube. That is my goal. We are in the second quarter and I'm busting my ass right now. Anyways, I'll catch y'all, man. Please be safe. Please take care of yourself. Love yourself. I'm out. <clears throat>